Welcome back to Nerd Dynamite, where the agenda is always rare. So this deck is still a work in progress, but clearly it's successful. Blink, what she does in this deck is she smooths out your uh, bad turns, uh, but I still think it can be improved upon. So I encourage you to try out your own cards, try out your own substitutions and see how it goes for you. I encourage you all to give this deck a try. Take it away past me. Okay, we're up against Kinti. Yeah, Blink loves Professor X apparently. <laughs> we, we throw White Widow into Quantum Tunnel because that's just what we do. Can Professor X come to us now? Why did they not throw White Widow there? If we get Professor X, we snap. Magneto, that is a decent pull. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. Like or subscribe, but only choose one. Do I skip to play into She-Hulk? Do I play Ravona? Oh, that's true. I could. Oh, let's continue. Let's continue doing that. Just keep keep rolling, right, Widow? Maybe I'll get Kyra, and I won't need to worry about Magneto. Wind, aid my hand. Okay, that's not bad. Now, I'm afraid of Sean here, so I'm going to play Sunspot and Ravona, And then I can skip. Interesting. Then I can skip and play She-Hulk and Blink on a single turn. There's Kyra, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, snap. They might play something mid. They might jam me up mid. This is risky. Yeah, the goblin mid. <laughs> and now they can cannonball. But also, I can Ravona. I can blink away the Ravona. So maybe I do. Yeah, and then I have Kyra to. They can't cannonball me away. They can't because I have Kyra and I have Professor X. Ah, Professor X first. I think that's fine. I think that's enough points. And then 10, yeah, that's enough points. Doom rules all. Okay, perfect. So I think I'm good. And turn and call it a day. So yeah, what I was saying is, if they hadn't played Doc Ock, I could have kyra That would have protected She-Hulk. I could have Professor x That would have protected She-Hulk. So I had... I had a couple of different ways to to play that out. Just to do it. So I have six here. I think I storm and white widow. No, I storm and Kyra. Oh snap. Because turn two I need to play. So I'm going to White Widow on my storm lane on turn two. Okay, they spread out their Wind cards. Aid my hand. But they still shouldn't be able to fill. Oh, Gladiator's a fantastic play over there. Nice. Well, no White Widow for me.
Okay, I'm just going to trust. Do I trust that that's enough? Or maybe I draw into doom? Or blink? Blink into doom? Maybe I blink into doom. Okay, get down another Ravona. They may have a Jeff. Oh, I wanted to use multiple blinks. Okay, I play out my sunspot. Oh, the pig is a zero cost, so the pig could the pig could grab anything in my deck, including Nebula. So maybe I play the sunspot last, and then I can blink. I think that's what I do. Oh, their nebula is going to scale if I don't get uh, Doctor Doom. It is tempting to Professor X. I will blink. I can fill them left next turn. With Magneto. There's my Doom. And now I'm going to fill them left. Or what cards... Oh, I pull... I pull those many cards. So where do I want to fill? I think I'll fill here. That's fine. I don't think it matters, quite frankly. We are the future. And that was actually the best pull. So I just play Sunspot, and there we go. That that worked out surprisingly well. And Blink actually came and showed up. <laughs> she she turned my Sunspot into a Doctor Doom. Uh, so there we go. I got my I got my good Blink game. Round two. Fight. Round two. Fight. And when I... Elysium is nice for this deck, too. When I am climbing, I typically like to play maybe an hour a session tops. Uh, or if I start backtracking too much, I know, okay, I need to stop. Or if I'm not gaining. Okay, a tribunal deck in all likelihood. And they get Limbo, what a gift. Hmm. I have all my six cost cards. So Professor X is the only card that Ravona would turn into. And I think I do it. Okay, so just load up left. I'll snap into this. This is the this is a very strong play for my deck. You all can see my deck, I can't, so I'm thinking Ravona can only turn into Professor X. I have Sean, I have Kyra, I have my six cost cards, there's Professor X. Okay, so now it's just getting a bunch of power on the board. Is this a Phoenix Force deck with Crystal? Does skipping here matter playing out make a difference? If I skip here, She-Hulk's free next turn. I skip here to see what they're doing. Because next turn I can play She-Hulk, Ravona, and one of my six cost cards if I'm doing my math correctly since everything's discounted with Elysium. So I think that's what I do. On the last turn, I have Sean. Oh, look at you. Not afraid of my 15, 17 power in Elysium. 
This might be a Torch Tribunal. Yeah, it might be a Torch Tribunal deck. Is this Beast or Falcon? Falcon. So it's just going to be, can I tag their Sean Chi? Can I tag their... Uh, their whatever. Whatever his name is. Whoa! Or do I end the turn here? Do I end the game, I mean? Oh boy, it's so tempting. Yeah. I'm afraid of the... They, they took back so many cards, all their movers. I just need the game priority so I can Shang-Chi the, the Human Torch. I would love to rip this Limbo away from them with the Surprise Storm play. I'd win eight cubes. But, uh, yeah, I, that's not happening. So I'm going to Magneto the Crystal Mid. Do I spread my power? I think I spread right now because I'm just so uncertain. Okay, do that. And then Doctor Strange, no problem. And then I just need priority here, which is why I spread my power. Ha, they took it from me. They took it. We are the future. And I couldn't fill them up completely. If I had snatched away... There it is. If I had snatched away Limbo, I would have won. I am not used to playing... I'm not used to playing this deck. So the cues here were they snatched back Falcon with Beast. So replaying out, retaking back in the Human Torch is was the ideal line for them because then I can't, I can't Killmonger, I can't Shang-Chi. And they knew that. So I guarantee you they are playing a large torch and a living tribunal. That's what they're doing here. And I don't think I can compete. I could doom maybe, but all of that is just super risky. Escaped. So I should have done the sneaky storm play. But I got a little bit too scared, because that's eight cubes lost, too, if they had kept that storm on the board, potentially. Because I wouldn't have been able to get a lot of power down. Okay, we are up against Ip Dark with Rickety Bridge. That's a decent lane for Professor X. It's also a decent lane for Storm. Oh, it was only 10 points for a lane, Isa. <laughs> Listen, my math. It's the math. I, I did not feel like doing the math, and it felt like that torch was large enough uh, where I didn't want to risk it. But then that goes to, that begs the question, why did they stay? Uh, let's see. I will storm here. Okay, Nocturne takes away Rickety Bridge. Okay, that can move again, so... Well, if they have a mover, it can move again. Play Kyra here. Open Kitty. They probably have some kind of move card. I could just skip and play She-Hulk left. I think that's what I do. 
Oh, okay, I'm not snapping. I'm not. I'm not gonna snap then. That means they probably have vision. Is that enough? And they can't move Nocturne, right? So if I play She-Hulk, if I skip, that's five fourteen. Jeez, I have to see this through. We are the future. Ah, okay. That was all it was. Okay. That's no problem, right? And now I have Magneto too? So I can still float? Get two more on the sunspot? I mean, I, I like this line. I think this should work. Oh, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough mid. I can be seven mid, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we had our bases covered. Uh, I forgot they could move the Nocturne, though. So I did... Eh, I was unfamiliar on that. The card I'm still kind of adjusting to. You can move this once. I assumed the move from Aunt May's was the move and forgot that it didn't count as the actual move that they could move it again so but we were able to pull it out with sean uh, so so yeah we had our bases covered here brian you did the math and they would have had 17 power per lane okay thanks for doing running that math uh would that have been enough because i was spreading how i was playing is i was spreading out my power and I don't... I think 17 might have tied on the left. If I'm remembering correctly. So I I don't know. With the way I was spreading out my power, I don't know if I actually could have pulled out a win. In, is this a bot? AK3? Just playing Rocket Raccoon out like that? I Ravona right. My plan is to storm mid and white widow mid. I have doom to fill in any gaps. Oh, it would have been more. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what scared me. They. <laughs> All of those movement cards, you're right. Ghost Spider too. Perfect. They used up the destroy. I'm snapping. This is, this is a lot. My name is Sunny. My hand. What kind of what kind of foolish moves are these? Okay, I'd love to get one of these cards to stick. And they're gonna block me. This this game, so this is what the bots will do sometimes. They know I'm trying to throw them junk. <laughs> so, so they will block it. Uh so that's that's what you just witnessed. Which whatever. Whatever. That's fine, I guess. Uh I'll play She-Hulk here, and then maybe a Doom right. Let's see what gets dragged over. Hopefully not my ne uh, nebula. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. What do I do now? Do I think the bot's just going to give me the win? Do I think the bot will give me the win? What is this drag? This just drags one. Okay, let's do it. We are the okay, future. I think the bot gave me the win. Yes, the bot did give me the win. <laughs> Going into 90, I got a pity win. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll, I have to take it. But also, when you're climbing to infinite, 
you have to take advantage of the bots, try to recognize them. They will do something like this to block your plays. And you just have to be aware that, okay, it's trying to fool me into thinking that it's real and giving me a hard time. And potentially that's when people might retreat against a bot. You go, oh man, they just blocked my White Widow play. I Now I'm losing flooding. All they need to do is Shang-Chi me here and they win. But again, if you recognize it's a bot, chances are they're going to let you in. I think the hard cheating bots have been eliminated. There used to be hard cheating bots. Whatever you did, they would counter you and there was no nothing you could do about it. But now they they at least have lessened those, so they just don't happen anymore. And there we go. We broke into 90. Uh, apparently, this is the deck to use to climb. I, I can't say I used Phoenix Force exclusively for six months in a row because I'm, I'm using this Blink deck that isn't actually a Blink deck. <laughs> so it's, it's a lockdown deck. So thank you, Izo for uh, for the suggestion of removing whatever card you told me to remove, or you said go one way or the other. I forget what card I removed, uh, but we ended up putting in Storm. So, and got, uh, we're able to continue the climb. So thanks everybody for joining me. Until next time, take care everybody.